What's up, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. We're gonna do some use cases of 5G ultra wideband. I've got the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus here on the left. That's got a Verizon uh, SIM in it. It's uh, running ultra wideband. You'll see it there in the corner. It's also hot spotting. Sorry for the road noise. And then we got um, the iPhone 12 Pro where I'm gonna be uploading a video to YouTube for you guys. And we're gonna see what type of speeds we get, how fast it you know, uploads and stuff like that. First, I wanna test the on-device data, give you guys a speed test to show you that I am connected to the ultra wideband. Just so you know, the note is back there behind that apartment. So the signal's probably not propagating here from over the top, it's like right over there. It's probably bouncing off of some of those buildings and then getting here, so. 18 millisecond ping, we got 1.8 gigs per second on the down. And the uplink, that's pretty good. Uh, we're at a 90 megabit per second on the uplink. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and test the, so that's the on-device data. Let's go ahead and test the hotspot data because I am running the mobile hotspot there. We'll to see what type of speeds we get there. Ping time is a little bit higher, 23 millisecond. We do have uh, 722 on the downlink, so a little bit less than half of the throughput, but the uplink still pretty decent. I'll bring around that 60 megabit mark there. 55, it started around 70. All right, so ended up at about 55 megabits per second. Anyways, what I wanna do for you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and upload a YouTube video. And we're gonna time it and see how long it takes. All right, so you'll see we're about to upload it. And you'll see that the video is there. I'll just call it one it's gonna go unlisted anyways and then we'll start the timer as soon as it gets to going and you'll see that it is preparing uh, that's not when it's connected that's actually just preparing to upload I'm gonna go ahead and as soon as it finishes the preparing part I'll go ahead and start it I'll start the timer and we'll see what type of speeds we get I will say that sometimes even with fast uplink on the Ookla it doesn't necessarily translate into you know usage so we'll go ahead and start it now. Oh wow. I can tell you guys right now that's the fastest I've ever uploaded a video to YouTube on any connection. That's really fast. <laughs> that's freaking fast. Yeah, I love the ultra wideband service. Um, it's the least restrictive. It's got a lot of capacity, probably the most of any fixed wireless access. So it's been really good. I've, I've loved it. Again, this is a use case for me over here as it is available to me. You know, if it does become available to you, it is a legitimate capacity option and it's done. All right. Looks like around 37 or 38 seconds. Now this is the processing stage. That's the uplink part. So I don't know, it was like 35 to 40 uh, seconds to upload the video. All right, y'all. So I went ahead and checked out the conversion of how big the file size would be and the estimates based on Apple's formatting with the iPhone is estimated to be between 1.7 gigs and 1.8 gigs. So if I use 1.7 gigs at the, as the baseline, and then I estimate that it took about 39 seconds to upload, so we'll do that on the high end, I have about a conversion of somewhere between 43 and 45 megabits per second for that uplink of the video. So overall, that's pretty good. I don't typically see that type of speed when I upload uh, over LTE or DSS. And it's a couple of reasons why. Number one, obviously, it's a little bit faster. But number two, it's the plan access. When you have access to ultra wideband, it's less restrictive built into the plan and the feature set itself. And that's why it seems to work better for uplink and other tasks and activities. Let me know what you think of this testing. Let me know what you think of the process. You know, would you guys, uh, how'd you see or, or view that upload? I'm telling you guys, it was a great upload. Typically, my videos don't upload that fast. I was very happy with that, and it was awesome to see. Go ahead and sound off in the comment section below. The voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. And if you are a real one and you watch this all the way through, hashtag 5G Ultra Wideband. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace.
Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.